Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. The news update for this Tuesday. Court delays Namdekano's access to his personal physician. Adjourns suit against Nigerian Secret Police to June. That is the Nigerian Court, the Federal High Court, being preceded by Justice Binta Nyako. Now, this Federal High Court, Abuja Division, has adjourned the court, the case, that is the suit filed by Mazin Amdekano against DSS to allow the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra access to his personal physician to June. 20. Now, what is the reason you will ask? Why the adjournment now? Because Mazinam Nakano needs his personal physician to attend to him. It, the emphasis must not be, you know, emphasized because there is every need for him to have access to his personal physician. It has been proven that DSS, they are not willing. To treat him the infections diseases he has contacted in that place even tuberculosis is there and that DSS have so he needs his personal physician but they are frustrating that effort look at what happened in the court the matter that was bid to be had yesterday at the budget division of the federal High Court, that's Monday yesterday was adjourned to June 20 by the court registrar who announced the absence of Justice Binter Nyako in court according to the registrar Justice Binter Nyako have gone for an official assignment okay but you know on May 3rd the judge warned lawyers to the DSS and lawyers to Onyendu against truncating proceedings in the next adjourned date following the day's proceeding that could not go on due to an oral application by DSS counsel Idowu Awo, who sought more time to respond to a further affidavit served on him by Onyendu's lawyer, that's Michael Zakome, SAN, in the court. So the woman warned them that both parties should not forsake the suit or the case. They should be hasting up towards the case they should be diligent but now she is the one for straightening it they said she was on official assignment on official assignment so this is a case of mm, a, someone's life is in danger the life of Namdekano is at risk and the, the parties involved talking about the judge and the federal government their agencies like DSS, the council to DSS, they are toying with Mazin and Kano's life. That is what it has shown from all they are doing. That is from the foregoing. It is evident that they are not ready, they are not willing to do the needful. You know, the council to the DSS has applied they have you know prayed the court not to allow Mazin Namakano access to his medical doctors and you recall that it is same, the same court that allow Mazin Namakano to apply for the order of mandemus yes on february 1 the court granted Mazin Namakano the permission to apply for an order of mandemus he sought after an expert motion moved by Mike Ozekome to that effect. So the federal government to the agency, the DSS and the lawyer, in a preliminary objection filed, they urged the court to dismiss the suit for want of jurisdiction. What is the meaning of that? Want of jurisdiction? Is the federal court not, you know, equal to entertain that case or suit? Okay? So they argue that there was a substituting judgment of a sister court delivered by Justice Taiwo Taiwo on June 3rd, 2022, 
in suit number FH slash ABJ slash CS slash 1585 slash 2021 between Kano and DG of SSS and two others, wherein the court dealt substantially with the issue of allowing the IPOB leader access to his personal physician. So, what we are saying is this the federal government should allow the leader of the IPOB to see his personal physician. This issue of, oh, Justice Bintanyako is out of the town, he traveled to overseas, oh, he traveled to Kano, Kaduna, this thing is, you know, untenable this time around. You have allowed that man to languish in detention facility. Court of competent jurisdiction have freed him, yet you kept him in detention facility. Now we are talking about allowing him access to personal physician, even while you are still keeping him. Yet you are frustrating that effort. What then do you want, federal government and your agencies? It's a big question they must ask. The most answer, the most powerful answers to this. What do they want from the leader of the IPOB? The federal government should make it explicit what they want from the eastern Nigeria. They should come out forward to say what they want from the BFLMs. They should tell the world what they're looking for in the hands of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. That is it. It's obvious that they are for something. They are not willing to allow peace to reign. They will say, oh, there's no peace. Everyone is troubled. You are the one causing the trouble. You are the one bringing chaos, anarchy. All the actions of the federal government in this matter, from as the canon, are all direct call to chaos. They are causing disaster and cataclysm. It is not good. It is the international community that should prevail unto them to allow peace to reign in their country, in their own country. It is their country. We are talking about Nigeria. Because where say mama never sleep, himself never sleep. So when your mother sleep, are you going to sleep? You will be awake all through the night. So that's what Buhari government have done. They have barely one week to leave office. And we're still talking about allowing Master Zambakara to see his personal physician. Not even in the release. You see, the level, the federal government have dragged this case. So why we are saying all these things is because the mother hen said, why is crying and shouting to, to the world when the hawk is carrying a chick? It's not because the hawk will leave the chick but that the world should hear our voice. So let the world be hearing our voice by the injustice the federal government is meeting on the leader of the IPOB, Mazen on the